Hello everyone, welcome to Channel 65, I'm Daniel. And I'm Jerry. And Daniel here today will be showing us something new. What will you be showing us, Daniel? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a dual screen. So basically dual screen means that you hook up your computer to another monitor and get the two monitors to show two different things. So uh, this is actually pretty useful for doing more than one thing at a time. Or if you're using multitasking, multitasking, that's right. So like, I don't know, your stops on one page and... Uh, and internet, Google on your yeah, page. On page. Or you know, if you're doing like really advanced stuff like Photoshop, uh, uh, Flash, or you know, Premiere, yeah. where you, you don't have the, all those little stuff that's stuck in one screen, you want to spread them out into more Zoom. space, yeah, yeah that's more real estate screen in real estate, so you do dual screen. So what well, was? for our instance, they will be showing you based on the PowerPoint example, yeah, which is basically having a, a laptop as is displayed here, yeah, yep. using Daniel's tablet PC, it's a and HP. Uh, we're using our my Samsung television as a um, second screen. That's right. You can use uh, any basically any computer monitor or any television with a VGA out, or even a projector for pre uh, presentation. Uh, in fact, you, you don't need a normal computer to do this. If you have a computer with a graphics card that has two video outs, right, which is very common nowadays. Yeah, if most for the high end models. No, even even um, 7200 and stuff like that. They all the low end ones have it too. As in like not, the, not the, the integrated, yeah, the not integrated, integrated ones, but in the yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but those plug-in ones. So, but those they, they still come. Yeah. Well, basically, as long as your computer has two VGA ports. Does that Apple? Does the Mac iMac have that? Uh, I'm not sure how to get it to work with Apple. Huh. So let's just deal with Windows. Well, we're today. dealing with yeah. Windows today. So the first thing that you need to do, obviously, is you need to hook up your computer to the the uh, monitor. the monitor. And uh, basically, you must make sure that there's actually a signal uh, that's ascending, right? So, um, oh, what the next thing that you have to do is you just go to your desktop and you right click on your desktop and you go to properties. And then after you just go to settings. So, this is a real simple, simple part. If you actually hooked up your monitor correctly, you will actually see that uh, there's actually two little monitors displayed here. So there's one, a little square that's number one representing your primary display, and another little square uh, number two that represents the second display. So in this case, the second display is not active. So yeah, it's really simple. Yeah, that's right. You click on identify, I will show you which is which. So, so this is this one and one. That means yeah. both they're being mirrored. Both screens will be showing the same, the same thing. thing. That's right. If you wanted to extend it. So here, this little checkbox down here that says extend my Windows desktop onto this monitor. So you just check this text box, uh, this little box, and then click on apply. So uh, right now you will actually see that this actually can be two different things. And if you see, my mouse is actually on my fellow PC right now. And when I move my mouse out of the screen, it actually appears on the second screen. Now it's a bit small, so why don't we drag this over and we can see what happens. So let's say take this uh, display properties window, for example. So I'm going to just drag this right here and right up into the second monitor up here. So basically so, what you have is an extended desktop, a very, very long desktop. That's right. Horizontally. And uh, there are many things that you can actually do through this little window. So you have one and two. So in this case, what I'm uh, doing is that I'm having the primary display on the left and the secondary display on the right. So if I actually want to do this the other way around, I can just drag number two to the front and after I click on apply and it will sort. So in this case, uh, when I move my mouse towards the left, uh, it will come out from the other side, of the, the right side of this monitor. You can even go make it uh, you know, up and down. Yeah, or top to bottom. And uh, it doesn't have to be precise as well, you can actually adjust it to be a little bit off and a little bit stuck, you know, stuff like it's that. It's very useful for, um, as you said, I mean, having like multiple PC, That's multiple right. PC monitors and stuff. That's right. And, and stuff like that. If you have a lot of money, if you have a lot of money, you can buy like four different or six little displays, nine displays even, and you just get them I've spread seen a 32 all. setup. You know, 30, yeah. <laughs> 32 monitor setup. So, so it's not impossible. So yeah, so actually it's quite simple to do, and that, that's, that is it actually. That's uh, that's how you actually get it to do the display uh, extended desktop. So uh, yeah, now it's just having one display. So what happened? Uh, you actually turn off the secondary extended desktop. So right now, single is only coming off the primary desktop. Right. So let's go back to extended desktop again, and uh, we'll show you a little bit of uh, this little feature in PowerPoint actually takes advantage of extended desktops. Oops. There you go. There you go. Right, we're going to show you a little feature in PowerPoint that actually makes use of the extended desktop. Oh, uh, by the way, before you go there, if you get confused, like just know what Jerry actually did earlier, he actually clicked on the identify button. Right, and uh, when you click on the identify button, as you can see, it says number two up here and number one here. So it's pretty simple. Right, so let's go to PowerPoint right now. Let's say you're on PowerPoint right now, right, and since you are able to display two different things on the monitor, there's a little useful feature in PowerPoint that takes advantage of this called presenter mode. So basically with presenter mode, what it actually allows you to do is that it allows you to see, uh, you know, to have more controls 
you know, like next slide and previous slide, you can see all the other slides in your presentation, uh, and without letting, without having to close your PowerPoint to change your slides, for example, and you know, your audience will just see the your slide right show, the not slide the presenter. Yeah, without the you know all the little fancy controls for your notes. So it's really simple to do. All you have to do is just go to the slideshow menu, and uh, there's a little uh, menu called Setup Show, right? And uh, in the Setup Show window, there'll be this little box down here that says Multiple Monitors. So mm -hmm. this is the one that's designed for all this. So basically, you just say Display Slideshow on Monitor Two, which is your second monitor, mm -hmm. and uh, click on the checkbox that says Show Presenter View. Mm -hmm. So once you've done that, right, you will actually tell the PowerPoint to actually set up a Presenter View each time you actually run the presentation. Let's try. Let's try. So now when you, when you click on the, the, the presentation, you'll notice that this is the slide, right? So this is your PowerPoint slide, and but what you actually see is that you see a list of all your slides. So in other words, let's say you have more than you know two slides, you have like five, six, seven slides, you can actually scroll it down and you can skip slides without having to, you know, uh, sometimes what people do is they, they close crash the they close PowerPoint, for example. Let's say they want to skip a slide and they don't know where to go. Right, so they close PowerPoint and all your audience sees your whole PowerPoint slides all of that's pretty ugly. Yeah. And you start scrolling, scrolling, and then you go back to this PowerPoint like the, the presentation. I mean it's, it's very useful for, for having seamless tra transitions that's right, between, that's right. between slides, especially when people say, But what about slide fifty five where you where you said this? Yeah. And then and you have instead to of, you know, right, closing and yeah, closing again. Yeah. Some some people actually they go to the you know PowerPoint and you right click and you see this little menu appear on your slide and then they go down to slide fifty five and click. You know, yes it's cleaner than you know Closing the presentation, but still, you know, it doesn't look professional enough. Yeah, this one is completely seamless. You yeah. can make use of it um, with any, almost any version of Windows. Uh, 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 sorry, excuse me. PowerPoint, PowerPoint. Two, 2000 and above. So as long as you have PowerPoint 2000, PowerPoint XP, uh, 2003, and uh, even uh, PowerPoint 2007. So you can do this. So you know, features that you have, you, you know, you get to see all your slides. You also have a timer here. Yeah, that's right. There's a timer that shows you how long the slide has been up and stuff, and. Uh, you, know, you can go do your usual stuff. You can click on, skip your slides. You can turn on the black screen. You know, you can, uh, oops, you can resume the show, and you can show you some of the keyboard shortcuts and all that. It's very simple to use and it's very useful. Your speaker notes are there as well. So for once, the speaker notes actually are useful because you can see your own notes, yeah. you know, and stuff like that. So you know, that's it. It's really easy to use. Uh, this so is just one example of the many, many uses of having Google Screen. As right. I mentioned before, yeah. you can have your stocks on one page and Google on the other just to see what stocks you should or should not buy. That's right. Um, my, in fact, my friend asked me once to help me set it up. I haven't got back to him on that. But okay, well, so now you know how to do it. <laughs> now I know how to do it. So that's it. So I hope you guys learned something today. Uh, I'm Daniel. I'm Jarek. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. This was an episode of Channel 65. See you. Tech 65 production. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.